everybody, Son of Beast here, and as for all of you now, this is where it comes into. Since you guys made the most votes of putting yes, I am about to do the interdivisional series between of the East Coast of the Conference against the West Coast Conference of the team. As LeBron James face against Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. This is where the matchup comes in, and we have been playing each other since regular season and in the finals by Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett. These are the only two that will be able to play and battle each other, and as you may already notice, this is where it gets things tough down. You may have guessed it before that it was many years ago, but now it's still going every season a long, long way. Now it's time to meet your starting lineups in between. The next commentator I will have is Terry Crews with Clover. And of course, the other side of it is Tyler Beast. And the special guest is Ballpoint Pen. In your starting groups we have is Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and KP, Chris Stapps, Porzingis. On the Lakers side, we have is D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reese, Rui Hachimura, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. Here we go, folks. Let's head you down to Los Angeles at Crypto.com Arena. I'll see you all later for the post-game show. It's that time. Hello, everybody. It's Terry Crews, and this is the Interdivisional Rival Series between the Celtics and the Lakers. I'm Terry Crews, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Clover and Tyler, and of course, the special guest, Ballpoint Pen. These are the matchups that are ready to take things on at Crypto.com Arena. The biggest matchup from Kobe Bryant and Kevin Garnett. But now, it's James versus Tatum. This is a great one. The battle it takes, it all comes pressure down. And I really love to see when this comes into a play motion, I really would like to see who can take the tackle. It's definitely right. All I can definitely say is now, it's go time. Let's bring it on and see how they can definitely do what they do. The first shot for D'Angelo Russell doesn't hit the mark. We're all set in field, ready to go. D'Angelo Russell, he's with up here on J here on Drew Holiday. Then it's there's Rihachimura on Brown. White is on LeBron James. Jason Tatum is with Austin Reeves and Porzingis on Davis. You gotta watch out with that one here because Porzingis definitely did really well on his percentage of his ultimate career goals. He made that one a lot possible enough here, starting from all the way back with the New York Knicks, and now he's with the team of the Celtics. Looking from here. The first shot comes in for Jalen Brown. Foul be his first bucket. You know, I never seen how well they did. Maybe that's the point. Because they really wanted to do it how hard they wanted to get. Because at that point, they wanted to show up. First shot can't hit the mark here for James. It's a hard one when James doesn't have the right motion. He's got to pick up a, a ball attackers. They need to do something else uh, instead. Now here's White. Covered up by James. Three pointer for Tatum. This one goes in and out. Here's LeBron James. He has the ball now finding Reeds. Hachimura in the corner finding Tatum. On a slam mark. No foul called on Boston. The ball's knocked loose. And it's Drew Holiday with the ball. Stays back. Now here's Porzingis on the outside. Looking in the middle. Tatum. Fade a shot. Finds Holiday. Holiday. Give the swing off to Brown. Seven on a shot clock. Here's Tatum. For the baseline, it's good. Jason Tatum with his first bucket after Dishaw putting in. You know, I'd really like to say Jason Tatum's got a good free arc. I mean, he's doing really well to keep that one inside. I know he's doing well in it, but I'm thinking the next one should be his all-star. Here's, here's the front. Oh! He made that one easy with a slam dunk down over on Tatum. I never just see that one coming in. You know that's a hard fact? Because they really don't no way of how they were trying to stop him. Oh my, Jason Tatum didn't really see LeBron James slamming it. I mean, come on, man. Give me a break. Holiday, 
Here's Satan for two. This shot no good for Tina. You know, he's trying hard, but he's trying to last to go with the face off. Let's do it. Here's Drew Holiday with 4.15 left to go. Now he swings it over again to Tatum. Tatum swings back again to White. White try to step back, finding Holiday. Here's a two. That shot good from the corner as Drew Holiday has his first bucket down. Los Angeles lead trailing by four. D'Angelo Russell face against Drew Holiday. Free for Hachimura. It's good. The range outside puts the mark in. And this one goes by D'Angelo Russell with the assist. Now that's a great pass when you're looking at it. Because D'Angelo Russell, he got a good high set. And I think Rui Hachimura, he wants to go for a free. That's what you do because three pointers are not always easy. And that's the point what you have to do. Don't get him away from it. Here's White. Four seconds to shoot. Free for Holiday. That misses off the target wide. LeBron James with another free with another rough rebound of the game. He finds the Angel Russell and a good tee by Holiday. You know, that's what Holiday does. So he makes his defense a lot more aggressive. He can try to take him out big time. Brown swings to Tatum. Around James. It's good. Tough shot releases as Tatum has the second bucket after Brown with the assist. The first timeout will be called by LA Lakers. That'll be their first timeout with under three minutes to go. Now, let's say about this. Now, I know what you're going to go for in the playoffs since we're getting it closer, but who do you think this will be going for? There, guys. Well, uh, I guess maybe a lucky luck, maybe. It may never happen like that, but um, I mean, you may guess it anyway. But, uh, it's a great thing. I, I really like to see the Boston Celtics. They may, they've already made out in the past in 2K Sports, but it was too close to call. And that happened to be like the conference finals in between. I mean, it's not always easy, but hey, you've got a great, great communication in between. That's what everybody does. I'd like to see when the Celtics come back in. It would be a great lucky day. You know, I might have to go with the feel hard feeling about that one here. You know, I am going to have to go with the, the Miami Heat at this point. They're looking for our biggest underdog upset for the season. And I'm thinking they might do it again. Well, I'm not even sure if this will happen anyway. But I'm going to have to make a quick suggestion that Giannis... And, of course, Jokic. They're going to rematch this one here again. I would love to see if they can definitely try to stop one in there. You may never guess it. That's what happens for most of the teams. They can't leave the mark down of it, and they don't want to fight for it. All right. <laughs> Thanks for your suggestion here, guys. No problem. New substitutions are on the court, as right now, Melly Beasley's checked in. As you all call it, as Reddish is putting it back in for the game. And he's never been looking for his for the open players on the offensive side. Also, Spencer Tinwood, he has also. The foul falls in for Tillman Sr. That will be his first postal. In their first team foul, puts up the Boston. Spencer Tinwood, after playing with the Brooklyn Nets, he now makes his trade up into with the Los Angeles Lakers. First, he saved Baby the back here with the Dallas Mavericks by Luka Doncic in their team. But now, his official saying that Kyrie Irving has been playing one of his best with Dinwood, of course playing with the Mavericks on the side, but now he's definitely wants to talk things over, see what they've been up to. I really say that it is quite honest, it's been so long, but maybe you may get the fact of it. I mean, come on now. Do you want to go with a friend? Maybe not. He missed the first free throw at the free throw line. That's what happens now because Spencer Dinwiddie has been really pushing up to its full steam ahead. He never gets something done, and that's what happens here. You don't shoot well often, you don't want to get that one hard out. He gets the second free throw. Here's Pritchard, looking to get a score run to take in for the Los Angeles Lakers. And here's Al Horford, he gives it back to Pritchard. Looking again to Holiday. Holiday swings again to Horford. Horford around him. Over Prince, it's good. Al Horford got a little slip on a layup drive, but he made that in. Wow, that is fantastic. 
I never seen how Al Horford was doing a lot of his rotation to go with that layup. That's amazing. Rebounded by Jalen Brown. And now he gives it off to Tillman Sr. Here comes Horford. He will give it back again to Pritchard. Two minutes to go in the first period. It is a 10 6 game. He goes right over to get it to Horford. Horford looking for a cut in for Tillman, and it's good. Al Horford with his first assist, as Tillman will have his first bucket for the layoff drive. That's what happens. You make that clear, go for it on your own. He finds a pass to Reddish. Screen coming. Inside. No foul called. This one stayed in. As Reddish has that finishing arc drive. If there were reference threes, if there were referees would have been signaling an offensive foul, that would have been, or block, that would have been a bigger problem. But he got lucky. Now Pritchard swings it over to get to Holiday. Holiday. For an elbow. You can't hit the target of this one, but it's not over miss for Boston. That's what nobody has ever done that. This is not what they do. You don't get it done, you gotta fix it. Another miss comes up, and we have a player down already. Uh-oh. That's no good. Oh, I'm guessing that might be a replacement for the new players. Can't let that happen with you. And he makes that shot. We are looking at over again, and looks like that Christie is out of here. I can see that painful of that look. It looks like that it's going to be a hard one to take, and Hayes, he's officially done. Now they're replacing a new player in for the next timeout. It will be coming in down, and we'll get another one to make a clean off. And now here's Dinwiddie. Have the layup, it's in. Now the first time I will be called for Boston Celtics with only 44.9 seconds. We're going to check out the replay of what happened here. I'll send it over to Son of Beast and see what happened to Hayes. Hayes is definitely finished, but he'll be missed. Beast. Let's have your replay. Terry, thank you. As we're looking it over again, as you can see, this one happens. Here's Hayes, and here's Tillman Sr. These are the guys that are right here in the elbow on the other side of it from, from the free throw line. And this is what happens. He has pushed and bumped his shoulder right in between of Tillman, right down towards his line. What happened is, he went with the push with the bang, and this one is turned to be like, what happened here on, on that side? He didn't see what he was doing, but this happened to be like when he made his way through, when Tillman Sr. made his way, okay, coming in here trying to like hold that offensive position, he made that one worse. It's impossible. And he did, yep, there it is. That bang pushes it over here with the, with the shoulder, and that one got hurt very badly. So what he did, he got tampered, and he definitely made his, made his hurtful the worst. And he went down on the floor. This is no good for the how this happened, because that elbow sprang him. And that was not a great use of him, because he had to call that one earlier right away to try to stop the call here with the play here. And he was been vampering and whippered, and this one is no good for him. Thankfully enough here, that Hayes will have to miss out with the game, and he'll be back with the playoff spot, nearing its end of the regulation season. But we don't know what this will happen because their team is like already on a down bull scoring drought, but it may not be happening if there is another choice with an update. So we'll keep an eye on our tune here and we'll see what happens for Joe, for Mr. Hayes. Back to you, Mr. Terry. All right, thank you so much. We wish we were a speedy recovery and we hope that everything is okay for Hayes. We are back in right now. Now Sam Hauser will check in for the Boston Celtics for Mr. Holiday. Here's Brown, pass to Hauser, looks it over now again to Pritchard. Pritchard swings across to Hauser. Hauser trying to look back again to Brown. Here's Brown on a finish trap. Oh, that's a tricky angle. Jalen Brown with his second bucket. That is a hard one. You know what Jalen Brown doesn't do? He doesn't want to get offended. Spencer Dinwiddie on Pritchard. Spins around. Up and over shot. It's good. Pritchard has not seen how Spencer Dinwiddie did. And he finally released his bucket. That's a 
first one of the night. That's what you can always say. What a finish, Spencer. And now back again to Pritchard. Pulls it back. Will he finish it up? And no good. That's the end of the first quarter. 16 of 12 is the score as they trail by four. We'll get a quick break and we'll get ready for the second period. There's no option, nowhere can't do. You have to prove them if you want to get it done. We'll be right with you shortly. The second quarter is coming up after the break. And if you're just tuning in, we're about to start things off for the second period. As now for the Lakers and the Boston Celtics, they've been playing it many years. It's right now as this is part of a postseason that they have already been doing for the finals. But sometimes they play here in a regular season and how all they've done. Accomplishing with the goals in between of Kobe Bryant and on the other side in between of, of LeBron James. These are the professional players that they have been playing a long time with the all-time scoring drought. I know that happens because LeBron James, he's really our, he's really definitely the biggest guy he has ever played and completed to pass Abu Jabbar. And that might be one of his biggest legends, yes, Lord. And I know that happens now. Because whenever knows about Kobe Bryant, he really wants to get that one thing over and done. Quickly and possible. That's what happens most of the time. They can't get that one away. The foul has been called on Rihachi Mura. That will be another personal foul. And a team foul will release on Los Angeles. You have to improve that Sam Hauser. If he makes that try, you can't let the defender get onto you. First free throw to the field trip for the Boston Celtics as Sam Hauser's at the free throw line shooting too. Stop the clock at 6.32 left in the first half. You missed the first free throw. That's what nobody has done for Sam Hauser as he's bringing his team alive in for the postseason to try to keep out of range. Yes, it's definitely not really the day. What you really want to do is you have to improve what you got to do to admit it. That's what nobody has done. That's what happens. You don't get it done. You don't get it right. You just got to stay on attack. He will hit the second free throw. D'Angelo Russell looking for another assist to put it up at the board. Screen coming. And spin around motion. Up and over drive. No good. Great D that time as Jalen Brown has that stop. And Porzingis has two rebounds on the game. That's what you do because the defender gets that one to you. Tatum looking for help. He decided to give off a screen for KP. Here he comes. Good D to fish off and dish off right over from Jay Jason Tatum as Chris Dapporzingis as his first bucket. That's what you do when you get off that one here. Great, great uh, give and go moment here to Chris Dapporzingis. That's what you do to keep our lives. And this one's missed again. That's what you don't do. You don't mess that up. You don't get a finish. Porzingis with two points. That's four points. 21 to 12 to score. Jason Tatum with another one. Timeout call by the Los Angeles Lakers with un with nearing a 5.30 mark in the first half. Well, they're going to have to talk it over. I mean, that's for sure. The NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by Sour Patch Kids. Sour, sweet, gone. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by AT&T 5G. Connecting changes everything. We're fast, reliable, and secure. Substitutional changes right now that's really catching Merrill wants to make a new change off. And checking a look here in the Western Conference standings, they're getting a little bit of hard rush radiation and to get back in, but hopefully they can stay alive here to get into the postseason. Well, they're not always that great. I don't know what to say now because they've been losing a lot of consciousness, but they're 
are not doing it and you're not picking up really well. That's what nobody has done like that. They have to do something like it's different and with the technique to get it done. Well, hopefully they can try to stay alive at that point. Let's get the functions. I agree. Here's White with the ball. Six on the shot clock. On in for an open look. That's good. The range outside puts it in for Drew Holiday. His first three-pointer of the night. He has five. That's what you do when you give off the go and give and go. You gotta hit the mark. That's a good shot for D'Angelo Russell to finish the drive. And Anthony Davis with the assist. And now here's Tatum. Tatum over around da Davis. Oh, what a slick move for Tatum. He has six points. Trying to keep that extended alive. That's what nobody has done because Jason Tatum, he just tries to figure out his motion. That's what he does. He gets it going. What a trip. That is no way that Austin Reese made that alley oop pass. That is crazy. What everybody has been going through, that's what nobody has seen like that. What a great slam down. Here's Tatum right on James. Back again to White. White finds again to Tatum. Good ball movement here for the Celtics. Five to shoot. Step back. Up for two. It's denied by Hachimura. Hachimura's got his first block of the game on Sam Hauser. And James with a layup. As Hachimura has another server assist and goes right down with a 26 18 score. That's what you don't do because the defender on you, you have a pretty bad one, you see. Holiday trying to look for some more room and he's pushed. That's a foul and this one goes back the other way. Here's the D'Angelo Russell's scoring of the drought of the season. After a turnover by the Boston Celtics, here's James. James decided to go on Jason Tatum. The spin the yard. Up and over Davis. It's good. Another two-pointer comes in for Danbury Davis. They're back down by six after the assist by James. Well, you don't get that one comfortable enough. You don't get that one straight. You just got to finish it. The foul's been picked up by Los Angeles as D'Angelo Russell with his first postal. And a number two foul releases. Well, I don't know what Drew Holiday was going to do. If he was going to slam that dunk down, it's not the question when you do, because that is a hard one to kill off. Number free throw coming up here for the Boston Celtics with only 3.09 to go in this first half of the period. It's a 26-20 game once again. Knocks down the first. New substitution coming in for the Boston Celtics as Tillman and Horford are checked in for for Hauser and Porzingis. The Lakers are also making the changes. Four players checked out, four players checked in. Dinwiddie, Brett, Sprints are on the court. And he hits the second free throw. Here's Dinwiddie, as now he still has four. Dinwiddie looking for going for three. That one stayed out. Offensive opportunity rule, and this one goes with Anthony Davis. After a rebound put back with a missed shot by Spencer Dinwiddie, he finally does it. White, oh, whoa! That's what you've never seen like that. Kobe White, I mean Derek White, sorry. That was all I was getting for. What a jam. That is a crazy enough that you got to believe on that. I never know what Derek White was going to definitely do. But hey, speak to the resistance. That's what happens to most of them. Reddish finds Davis for two. It's good. A range on it. The two players is in a mark. And Reddish with the six. Keep that one going if you're going to make a stop. Here's White. He is off to go to Holiday. Tillman in the middle. Off the range. It's no good. Another good stop here by Anthony Davis. He goes back the airway. Going for go, go, yeah. That's when you slam that down. Timeout called by the Boston Celtics with only two and three in the first half. That is what happens now. You can definitely say, yes, sir, hold on. Coming up later, what will be a halftime show? That's right now, we have another new commentators coming in as we've got 
Ernie Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith, and Shaq O'Neal. You'll be ready to join us here for the first half of the recap in between. Now we come it up after this first half of the game. on the court as now with another new switch off look for the Boston Celtics as White is checked out and Pritchard's checked in. Here's another look for Pritchard. Pritchard sidesteps and goes back to Tillman. And, and the same thing with the Lakers as well so as Christie's checked in. Holiday trying to look it over. He wants to make another new change off. Give to Tatum and it's inside the arc. Good pass by Drew Holiday. That'll be his first assist. And Tatum with eight. That's a good give and go. Because that's what happens now. And you know what, what this goes through. It's going to be like a hard one to take. What a give and go. Never lay up in for, 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 for Spencer Dinwiddie. Now he goes back the airway as Bridget gets it over to get to Tillman Sr. Bounce pass to Tillman Sr. Give a pass to Horper. Horper swings again to Tatum. Tatum for the two, on the arc, well nice one to pick off here with Tatum, he has 10 points, and Warford with the assists. And keeping it going, not the range when you don't want to do. And now Davis, swings again to Christie. Christie trying to look at over with another new help on the offense. He now finds Reddish, Reddish with the screen, then a shot, that goes in and out. 40 seconds in the first half, he now finds Holiday. Here's a tip off with a shot, and a good look here for Al Horford. He has his second bucket, and Drew Holiday has his second assist down. That's what you know for Drew Holiday. He wants to pick it up, look for more. Spencer too, when he tried to open up, and there's an offensive foul call. That's Anthony Davis with under 30 seconds. You know, that's what the terrible is. You don't give up and off here with a screen and this one, you give a go, you're going to get caught at that point. You do not want that to live out with your life. And now Tatum, he sways again. Now finds Tillman Sr. And goes back again to Holiday. 10 on the shot clock, 10 seconds in the game clock. Fade a shot, finds again a Holiday. Good ball moving. Here's the free for Horford. And catch it! That one spitballs, triples to arc. And that will end the first half. A 39-28 score. That was a tight one race, but we'll see what happens with the second half. Yeah, I can't let that happen if you know the deal. Let's go down to Dave Eldridge as we have the one standing by. Hey, Dave. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see something go in. It feels good to see him go in early. It feels good to have a good start. Um, hopefully, we'll keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. Stay tuned. The second half's coming up after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and even Jeff Smith. Boston found themselves in a close game in the first. And in one stretch there, they were up by six. And they flat out dominated that second quarter. Hard to believe they were behind at one point, as they're now up 11. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, more than the players. They Love to watch this brand of basketball. We've got a whole nother half to go. I'm so excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Lakers. Um, the effort hasn't been there in terms of rebound the ball. They're getting outworked in that part of the game. But you've got to be more physical to turn this thing around. I don't know if they have the personnel to do that. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And as 
we're rolling in for the third quarter, we welcome you back at Crypto.com Arena. Talking about this one for all the legends. Jason Tatum has been really been on a great start in the first half of the period. But now, he's looking to get more in the second half. Well, the competition is not always easy, but it's possible enough to have him on a top scoring job. I say Jason Tatum has been really been successful. Yeah, I agree. It's all that you do, just do your best. And that's when you can't let him mess him up if you don't know how to do one. The starting group starts right now as Holiday is on D'Angelo Russell. KP is on Anthony Davis. Al Horford, he's on the other side. He's covered up by LeBron James. Then it's White finding Reeves. And this one will be shot too much time as there is no chance, no shot made. That one turns it over. Now with the Lakers ball, but convert 6 for 6 Uh, got to have that aggression out there if you're going to have to change that one up. And finally, Jalen Brown covered up by Riachimura. Oh, no way! That is the closest one nobody has ever seen. That big shot, and LeBron, you slam it down. And this is like, no way. I never know what's going on like that. But that's what nobody has been doing it like. That's for all for sure. You gotta hit that mark. Porzingis on Davis. Looks up at the shot. The two's no good. Ryan James with the ball. Sidestep, finding D'Angelo Russell. With an open look, it's no good. And they're raging outside. Celtics lead by nine. He finds it again to Porzingis. Now he swings off to Hor Horford. We have a report for David Aldridge as we talk about him. As Joe Mazzula has been teaching him with some of the uh, moment of his look of his ability. It's not what easy does, but they always can make a good count if they can try to keep that one alive. Well, greatness is Joe Mazzula without Brad Stevens might be all favorite plays, and you can definitely try to punch them. Well, it's not what you do. You don't want to make that one feel like you're too hard by it. And yes, not a choice question at all. Layup good! Another one for D'Angelo Russell. Now Holiday tries that one again, swings off to White. White try to look it over again, back pass to Brown. Looks now to Porzingis. He gets back to Brown. Brown wanted to look it over with another new change. Why do we look for Porzingis? He passed that in! Makes the three-pointer for Porzingis after Brown with the assist. That's what you know, open three for center darts. Gotta hit that mark in. Switch, bucket, count. That's what you do to get that done. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I never know if you can definitely do it anyway. The stop. Oh, put back down with a slam by Anthony Davis. This one goes back the other way. That is nowhere to make a look at him. Come on, man. Now, give it back to Porzingis. Porzingis tried to give it over now to Holiday. Holiday tried to make a swing. Swing the arc. Now finding Porzingis. Porzingis trying to go up with the lip. It's good. He has 11 points with four minutes going by in the third quarter. That period strip is, is going to be a lot that tougher than you think. But you're not going to shoot well enough if you know how to do it. Brown takes a steal after a lost ball puts up for the Lakers. And the returner has been released. Here's White up with the three. Good range as White with the first three-pointer. Timeout call by Los Angeles Lakers with 3-3 to 9 to go. And we'll have a quick break to make new changes here. That's what you do. That's what the Celtics get done. Make the switch. Do all you can. Get all that one coming in. That's what everybody does. You make that call, make it easy. And we are back now into the court as we have all-time reporters here in between as we look into the stats. We are looking at Drew Holiday. His field goal range is not always easy, but he has to keep on going. He's in fifth place. That's what you don't do because Drew Holiday gets that one in straight enough, and that's going to be a hard one to try to like, keep it going. The right place gets it done, and you don't want that one to get out of the way. It's going to do to try to stop him and cover him. 
And he's got to get that one more interesting now. Oh, Tate! Oh, what a fly throwdown! He has 12 points. That is like unbelievable. <laughs> That's what happens now. You know, Slam, you get down. What a play. Oh my gosh. I like Tatum Drive. That Slam is a high flyer. Seven round, no good. Porzingis has got his third rebound of the night. Now gives it again to Tatum. He now gives off to White. White swings back again to Brown. Screen coming in. Passes over to Porzingis. Drew Holiday try to look for an open gap. Get pass to Porzingis. Down to three. To Brown up with the shot. And too much time. No shot count. That one turns over for another shot clock violation. That's going to be a hard one. Not a great easy look, but you don't want to make a mess out of them. Keep an eye on the game here as we will have a new season underway here shortly. And we'll have a big announcement here for the message of Son of Beast. So you'll find out sooner or later. And now, here is Davis. Davis gives it again to James. James, cut him out over to Tatum. And that one, good D here. Porzing gets with this four free bat of a night. Keeps it alive, it's going right away. But you never want to get that one over easy. White has the ball. Two minutes going by in the third quarter. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. White, the two. That drops in under the cash flow. Seven points in the game. They're under two minutes. It's Drew Holiday. That's number five. That's number seven. Yangelo Russell up and slammed it down. Oh, he wants more. What's, that's what happens there because they're looking for an open basket. I mean, he wants to finish it up. And Drew Holiday sends it back to share the message. And he has nine points. Oh, the back to Chris Cross again. This is this is not what I was looking at. I mean, can't let that happen. You're gonna try to mess it up. Now the pass to Hachimura. Hachimura over with the swing it. The two. Oh, oh my! Hachimura dunk it again. He has more. Keep him in a live at one moment. I mean, you never saw that coming. One minute remaining in the third, and now he finds Porzingis. He now looks like again. Over to Holiday. Holiday swings a pass back to Tatum. Tatum, again to Holiday. Down to three. Brown, step back. Two. Good. Right in sight. Jalen Brown with six. 42 seconds left in the third period. Just a 57 38 score. Well, just gonna have to keep that one coming in if you want to go up. Reeves can't hit the pointer. Now Brown. Pass again to Tatum. Tatum looking it over. Now with 20 seconds, here's Brown. Over with the shot. And he's denied by James. I don't know if he got a piece of it, but he definitely did. Well, that's what nobody does. If you get the ball right away, I mean, you got to slack it out. Well, that's James's idea. He just had that block projection. And that misses again. That ends the third quarter. 57-38 is the score at the end of the third. Fourth quarter is underway now. Celtics are feeling out. They are on a home stretch to finish off with the interdivisional rival matchup. We'll see how this goes when we come back. You're watching the NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. Let's have a moment now to reveal your State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, this is what happens when I always spot it on when you give it off to Drew Holiday and then there's the pass and the dish off. Well, Jason Tatum got it all covered in there. He got great passes. Yeah, that's always true. I mean, keep that one alive. That's when you do the best. Yes, indeed. We hope you had fun with three quarters, but now this is the final quarter of the period. We start things off with the last one, while we hydrate and ready to go. Anthony Davis is on Tillman Sr. Dewey is on Pritchard. Man across the here is Derek White. He has it across right over again to Austin Reeves. 
Then it's Jason Data. He's with Reddish. And finally, Al Horford on Tyree and Prince. Al Horford swings again to Tata. Tata. The two. That drops in again. Tata with 14 points. Looking to pass to get to over 15 points of the season. This is nowhere left. I mean, I say Jason Tatum, he's been like the best. And Austin Reese finishes up with a right hand drive and a layup. That's what happens now because you don't get that one easily enough. You don't get that perfect in time. Now he finds White. The bounce pass to Tatum. Looks now again to Al Horford. Al Horford now again to White. Gives the pass to Tillman Sr. Tries to give up for the two. And he got it in this time. Tillman Sr. has four points. 5.40 left to go in the fourth quarter. The Lakers are trailing behind with the extension. He finds a pass to Anthony Davis. He goes up, makes a layup in. Austin Reeves, a number assist, and he has 14. But that's what happens. Another breakdown? You don't want that one out of the way. Derek White up, denied by Reeves. He has his first block of the game. 5.17 left to go in the fourth period. That's what you don't do, because Austin Reeves had that piece of it, and he tried to knock the flank around. That's good enough right now, because that's what he did. He finally got done it again. He now finds Tatum. He goes again to Derek White. Derek White tries again, and that two can't hit him off the mark. That's a number missed by Boston Celtics. Here's the pass. Reddish with the ball. Up again. Oh, my! I don't believe that Tillman just knocked that down, and that turned the other way. That is no joke. I mean, if this would have been a pound foul, that would have been like, no way. That is like... Wow. Jason Tatum, another two-point bucket in, finally passes 15 points. While the regular season always pays it off, and that's what happens, you don't get down enough easy. Timeout call by the Los Angeles Lakers with only 4.37 left to go. We got another game coming up here in between, and I already know that you've already enjoyed the part of our LA showdown, but we got your next game rivals as we're going to head into the West Coast. Sometimes in the East Coast, I don't know if we can get to do that, but hey, you may never know, but that's whatever happens, you get that done. All day, every day. <laughs> <laughs> that's totally right. And I hope you all enjoyed your in MSA Invitational. I guess this is a fun uh, part of the, uh, for this, and when I was supposed to be here, I didn't think I wasn't, because I couldn't compare, and I think I wouldn't let the jury decide. And that's what everybody does. They don't let they don't want me and I feel like I wanted to go back where I do my business. And this is nowhere I wanted to go back for the seven of them. For the finale, of course. Well that's uh, a hard one to take over this, but in that case now, you may have it all covered in there. I mean now you got it. Well, definitely the same thing that happens to be all point thing. Well, yes, you guys get that one. That's what I don't do. I try to stay out, I don't want anybody to go over me. Here's another big scoop substitution as now with another snooze change up in on the court. He finds Davis. Here's Reddish. Back step. Finds Christie. 430 left to go. Screen on beat on Reddish. Double man on him. That layup can't fall in. That one's going to be very hard though, because Jason Tatum, he really had a lot of weight to sell defense right out of the blockage. Tatum finds Silman Sr. He gives off to White. Over with the shot, back step in. They'll get it back. Tatum up. Good to go. Tatum with 18 points. Under 4 minutes, 65-42. Christie finds it back again to Reeves. Now back again to Prince. Screen coming. On the airway. Will he get it? And this one's nowhere in. 
Prince can't end with a right up in after a rebound. That's nowhere worth I mean, sorry, but they can't let that foul in. And he's got called foul as Reddish has that number foul with 3.30 left in the fourth quarter. Another team foul for Los Angeles as Tatum is at the free throw line shooting two. Yes, it's definitely a coincidence that Jason Tatum is really not always in the in the mood because if he gets fouled, I mean, yeah, I think he, they're going to like try to like, leave him out, but it's no word. You cannot try to defend yourself. You don't want that to happen. Tatum makes it in now. Now with a new substitution. Brown checks in as now as Tillman Sr. checked out. LeBron James, he's checking in along with D'Angelo Russell. As all as a couple players have checked out. Christie and yep, you always know it. He gets the second free throw. Tatum with 20 points reaching the mark with 330 to go. Reeves trying to look open with the switch. Tries to head in the mark. The three. Russell up. In you go. Set one puts a three pointer in. 67 45. That's what he does. He makes an open shot. Make the contact. What a good look. And a steal by Davis. Here's Prince. Here he comes. The finish. He finally gets a point. They're down by 20. And now Brown, with under three minutes to go, here's Tatum. A shot releases, and oh wow, he's on hot hands. Tatum with 22, and Brown with the assist. Well, he's giving on a shot, range, easy enough, and he's been like on a kaboom run, and you're like a, a fireman. I never know how you can definitely do, but that's what you do, Jason Tatum, and throw all the way right into Superstar Factory. Okay. He now finds again a Pritchard. Looks again to Al Horford. Al Horford swings again to Pritchard. Pritchard again to Brown. Brown Brown gives it again to Pritchard. Here's Pritchard's shot. That misses again. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period. Two minutes remaining in the fourth but the shot, another alley oop successful as James decides to give it off to Davis. That's what happens now because that gives a good look of an open range. That fire outtake is nowhere to be looked. And now he gives off to Brown. He gets a bounce pass to Tatum. Tatum, again to Brown, now goes to Pritchard. Shot timing down, Tatum over James. That one's good and he makes that in. Yes. Second last timeout called by Los Angeles Lakers. This is what happens. You always get that one called out. I mean, you guys need to play. The NBA Rival Week on GK Sports is brought to you by your local key dealers, the moment that inspires. Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Starry Lines. All right, let's take a look at your New Balance player to game. And your New Balance player to game goes to Jason Tatum. He's like the biggest guy and the superstar X Factor player, but that what he does, he makes everyone feel easy enough. He can definitely take all of his concentration. It's good enough to have that one here. Jason Tatum, what a legend. A bigger moment can definitely take the impact. But I know he can. But let him take it, let him have it all down. Here's Davis. Up to go up again. Oh, a hard contact, and he goes right down on the floor. It's Jason Tatum. Has apologized, and he definitely didn't want to do that. Well, that's a problem now. Because he's at the free roll line shooting two. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis will take this chance here to go with another two point digit numbers if their team gets back in it. Two shots. 
He hits the first free throw. Now the new substitution has all three players are checked in. Spencer Dinwiddie, Christie, and Tyree Prince are checked in. And he makes that shot. Nearing a 90 second approach, here's Drew Holiday. And now Tatum, again. This time he goes back again to Brown. Back again to Tatum. Tatum, will he take it? Good D on Tyreen Prince. That's what happens now because Tyreen Prince really got very lucky enough. But can't let that happen if you can try to rule it out. Here's Reeves, up at the pass. Davis for the two. The range mark, no good. Well, he's been shooting all day. I mean, sometimes it's not always good enough. You don't want to make him feel like it. You're under pressure. That pass broken up by Prince. Here comes Reeves. You get it back. Never lay it. And put that roll in it goes. Number two for the Lakers with 47 seconds. Oh, that is amazing. Fast when you know what the layup comes in, you get that one done right away. Well, that's a lot harder than I expected. And now, give it again to Brown. Brown with the layup, and he finishes off the air. He has eight points, 33 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter. And now here's a chance for Spencer Dinwiddie. With a three, it's holding off by Jason Tata. Jason Tata will have to give another look in between. Let the clock wind down with 14 seconds. Jason Tatum trying to move around a little bit. Six on the clock. And we'll finish it off here. With only 0.3 seconds. Laker ball, and it will be finished. Last substitution will be here for the Lakers and for the Celtics. And that will do. Your final score is 76, 73 to 55. What an excellent game in between of the Interim Divisional for the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. We're at all stands, make that one play for. And a chance now to send you over to David Ollidge on the sideline. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Hey, Pete, you guys did a great job contesting shots and disrupting their offense. What did you like best about the defensive effort tonight? I think from the beginning of the game, we just started off uh, aggressive. We were connected defensively, and uh, that's how we were able to stop them. You got it done. What a Kevin, Christoph. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right. Thank you so much, Sir David. And that will wrap it up with me, Terry Cruz, along with Clover and Terry and your special guest, Full Point Pen. Thank you for joining us here. We'll see you again for the next game. Thanks, you too. And peace out to the world. Until next time. So long, everybody. On to peace. Hey guys, thank you very much. As Boston Celtics destroyed the Los Angeles Lakers, it's not always a day to be like this. Here's how they did with the total statistics. Between the field goals, three-pointers, and free throws was the Boston Celtics with 67%, 50%, 83% of each. Then a fast break, then points in paint, and second chance points was the Los Angeles Lakers with 642 and 8. Bench points was 14 for the Boston Celtics. 28 assists of the game for the Boston Celtics. 9 for the offensive rebounds in between for the Los Angeles Lakers. Defensive rebounds, 23 for Boston Celtics. Two steals for the Lakers. Three blocks for the Lakers. Only two turnovers, only eight points off. Two team fouls for the Boston Celtics. Eight dunks performed for the Lakers. And it was 25 biggest lead, and 16.02 was their time of possession for the Celtics. And that one only has to remain only two timeouts left. It's not always a day when you wipe this. Now, let's send you over to Wood Spoonie for three star players in the game. Spoonie, all you. All right, thank you very much. Time for three star players off the gun. First off, I start off with three stars. For the third star in between, Kristaps Porzingis with 11 points, four rebounds, and the early at in between with one three pointers. 
five out of seven field goal range. He puts up with 11 point, 11 performance effort. He's been going right and done that again. What a great play for a key play of Kustad Porzingis. Now let's head over to number two. And this one goes to Albany Davis with four dogs, 20 performance. They have 14 field goals, one steal and assist, only seven rebounds, and only 18 re points in this game. Well, he had made that one quite easy enough to get this one finished. I know he done the LU, but hopefully you'll get it more done. And your first star player of the game, as we give it off a great celebration between that's, of course, you know, Jason Tatum. With 24 points, 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 11 out of 14 field goals, and he's done great. 31 performance effort, 1 dunk, 1 legend. And he'll be ready for the playoffs in no time. Back to you, Son of Beast. Alright, thank you very much. As right now, this has been a presentation of the NBA Rival Week. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all again very soon. Son of Beast is out of here. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA on 2K Sports Style. See you next time, folks, and have a great night. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.